Hey, from Denmark. We just arrived in Bornholm, an island located in the Baltic Sea between Germany, Poland, Sweden and Denmark. We are spending an entire week on this beautiful island, so this is the beginning of a brand new adventure. I hope you will enjoy all the great experiences we will make. So yeah, let us enjoy, let us explore Bornholm. Alright, I'm standing next to the Baltic Sea. We made it to the town where our Airbnb is located. I will give you a house tour later on. It's a beautiful house, it's a cozy house. So it's a great place, really great place to stay here for a week. And uh, yeah, we just went for some uh, groceries shopping so that we do have some uh, dinner and maybe some pastry before that dinner. So things, things are going well, things are really going well. The only thing that is a little bit um, sad, disappointing in the weather, so it's cloudy, it's windy, it's still warm enough, but it could be a little bit warmer. But yeah, it's the first day. We just arrived, so there's plenty of things to come, there are plenty of days to come. And uh, I'm really looking forward to tomorrow. Tomorrow I like to go out on a longish run along the coastline. This is going to be amazing. This is going to be really great. Can't wait to go outside, go run along the shoreline. And uh, ooh, there are some freaky dogs. And uh, yeah, go run along the shoreline. I will take the GoPro with me to just show you along, to have some kind of run to explore video. And uh, yeah, I think I will now continue on back home so that we can prepare our dinner.
Puh. All right, it is the second day and once again we are at the shoreline. We are on the beach to visit an interesting place, an interesting place where some sand and dirt and other materials has been piled up as there were some brown cool digging activities going on on Bornholm. And this is an interesting site, it's a very interesting site. I am standing right in front of these uh, strange uh, mountains, piles of uh, black brownish dirt. Looks interesting, looks very interesting. I was promised some kind of lunar landscape. We'll see, we'll see if this really is a lunar landscape. We are in Hassel. Hassel? I'm not quite sure how to probably pronounce Danish names once again. But uh, yeah, if you want to check it out yourself, you can go there and um, explore this interesting site yourself. So let's do that. Let's, let's see if there's really a true lunar landscape or whatever is going on there. Here we go. Alright, I start to explore this interesting place, this interesting place full of this material that has been dug out. And yeah, as you can see behind me, it is a lot of material. So I feel a little bit like being in a canyon or something like that, just so that you get an um, idea how big this is, how large, how huge this area is. If you can see me in the foreground and in the background, those very, very tall piles of dirt, material, whatever. Um, yeah, interesting place, very interesting place. I think I will continue a little bit that way, so into, into that canyon to just see what's going on there. And uh, yeah, let's do this. Let's, let's explore this side. Okay, very cool, very cool place, bit strange place, but cool place. Nothing is growing here, which is also interesting. And uh, yeah, interesting side, very cool to see, very cool to explore. And uh, yeah, let's see, let's see, I think. I can get a good overview when I get up there. 
So I guess we'll climb up there and see what's what's going on up there. Okay, now I'm happy. It truly looks like a lunar landscape. It's not as lunar-esque as on Iceland. On Iceland, it was really, really cool. But uh, here, out here, it's also a cool place, interesting place. And uh, it's very cool as there's nothing growing here. Nothing is growing out there. So, uh, yeah, cool place, very, very interesting place, as you can see behind me. And uh, yeah, what I also like, the view, the view to the, the Baltic Sea. So there, now you can see the Baltic Sea right at the shoreline. And back there, hard to see, but where the, the other people are. There are some old minecarts, and I guess this is the next interesting site we're going to explore. So we are going out to to these minecarts and uh, checking out what these minecarts are all about. They are their history, their true history of the time as this, this place was built up, was piled up, I guess. So let's head over there and see what's going on there. That's exciting. We're adventurizing, we're really adventurizing. Also, while I'm walking along here, just as a side note, I mean, you might have seen this. I'm not entirely sure how I will uh, edit this, this entire video. It will include the entire run or of the, the explore to run video will be a separate video but yeah this morning i went out on a 20 kilometer hike 20 kilometer hike uh, 20 kilometer run um, my idea was to just go out have this this long run marathon training is still going strong but uh, yeah it turned out a little bit more into an adventure well the first half the first 10k we are quite adventurous because at first I ran along the the shoreline which was an interesting almost trail running experience and then I wanted to go to uh, to an old castle to the ruins of an old castle but I took the wrong turn then I saw okay there's a sign for a lighthouse let's run to that lighthouse which ended up in a very steep uphill run was cool, was exciting, was good training. But when you run uphill, you also have to run downhill. And running downhill was on a trail, so on a very steep and slippery trail. So yeah, the, the first 10K were quite adventurous, but they were nice, real nice. And then on the way back, I did some normal street running. Street running, I, Enjoy, enjoy the most. Uh, enjoy the most. Of course, it was a nice change of pace to just run along uh, the the shoreline and climb up that mountain to see that that lighthouse. But yeah, what was was different than I expected. But I had a lot of fun, really a lot of fun doing that. So th this was a great start, great start into into the day, running 20 kilometers. At first over very interesting terrain, then just normal street running to 
um, yeah, speed up the legs, get the legs turning over, have a good good run. And uh, yeah, really really enjoyed this. So yeah, that's that's what I did this morning. Really cool. And uh, also cool. Just just see this this nice view. Just see this nice view I'm experiencing here. I'm standing right at the cliff, at the edge of the this pile of material that has been uh, accumulated here. And yeah, the the beach. The beach looks looks inviting. The beach looks very inviting. Okay, um, I think it's it's time to to move on and to get closer to that the, these old minecarts. So. I think I think I brought you up to speed what happened so far. Early morning run. 20, 20 kilometers. And uh, Yeah, now now exploring this interesting place. So let's get closer to those mine carts and take a look at them. This is a true Indiana Jones experience.
All right, I am now in Allinger. After we inspected those old minecarts, we continued on along the shoreline and enjoy the beautiful nature. Unfortunately, nature surprised us with a heavy shower of rain, so I got really wet. On the way home, we stopped to buy some smoked fish. Really delicious, really delicious a lunch break. And uh, yeah, after some uh, more relaxing time at home, we are now in Allinger, walking along the shoreline after having bought some groceries. Beautiful evening, beautiful evening, beautiful first day here in Bonholm. Really enjoying the trip so far. And yeah, I'm already excited what comes next. I might now check out that that little little harbor thingy you can see behind me. Uh, there are some small little fishing boats, should be interesting. And uh, yeah, then we'll see what I find next to show you.
hello again. Good morning from a beach. Once again, we are at the shoreline. Once again, I'm on a beach. And uh, yeah, this time I'm even going to test the water. Well, I'm not jumping right in. I'm just walking a little bit in the refreshing Baltic Sea. So uh, yeah, it's It's indeed a bit refreshing, but it's nice. It's very nice. Feels good. It's good to walk in the Baltic Sea. Uh, uh, yeah, we are in Duorde. I guess I already showed you the, the lighthouse. The famous lighthouse. Maybe you can see it somewhere in the background. Lighthouse, lighthouse. Uh, the display is so small. I can't show you the lighthouse, but uh, yeah, I'm quite sure I already showed you the footage of the lighthouse. And um, it's a cool place, it's a cool place. We had some rain this morning, unfortunately. So at first I thought, okay, it's going to be a rainy day, a wet day. But in the end, it turned out to be great. As you can see, it's, the sun is shining, walking on a beach, having a great beach day. I'm not quite sure that this will be an entire beach day, but for now, oh my, my shorts got a little bit wet. Anyways, um, yeah, it's a nice, nice day. I was told the sand, sand on this very beach, is so fine that it's used for some hourglasses. So if you if you do have an hourglass and you see the a sand running down that hourglass. There's a chance that it's from that beach, I guess. So that's also a cool, cool, interesting thing. And uh, yeah, I guess I will now continue to walk a little bit along that beach. Enjoy the time, enjoy the waves. There's some, some neat waves. And I show you where the waves I hope you can see some waves in the background. I'm not entirely sure if you can see actually waves, but uh, yeah, that's a cool place. And I guess before I will continue just to, to ramble on without saying anything productive or so, I guess I will leave it there and continue on. Continue on to some more interesting sites, places, whatever. Enjoy the beach, enjoy the, the refreshing water. And uh, yeah, having a great time. And bring you along while having that great time, I guess. Travel, travel, adventures, adventurizing, everything is great. Everything is amazing. Okay. I think that's all for now. <laughs> If I indeed continue to ramble on, let's enjoy this perfect beach. Woo! After having spent an amazing time at the beach, I am now at a very specific geographical location. I am exactly at 55 degrees north, 15 degrees east. This specific location is marked with a stone on the ground. So this is super cool. This is really a neat feature and it's super amazing to have discovered this feature and to be standing right at this spot. Right in this very moment, I am standing directly at this specific geographical location. So this is super cool. And uh, yeah, after having now reached this very important geographical position, I am now moving on to yet another beach. 
I was promised some uh, black stones on a beach. I'm not quite sure what to expect, but we'll see. So yeah, let's go and find some black stones. All right, I made it to the beach, but as you can see, there are rocks, but they are not particularly black. I mean, when looking towards the sun, all the rocks might appear black, but they're not really black. So, I mean, back there are some more rocks, but they also look rather like normal rock. So, I'm not entirely sure, maybe maybe we were wronged, maybe we misinterpreted something. At least uh, no, no black rocks, so I guess we will be going to somewhere else to find something amazing there. Uh, but at least the view, the view is cool, the view is very nice, nice beach, nice look over the Baltic Sea. This is cool, that's great, I like. I like the, the sea, I like the beaches, I like the, the open water, that's always a sight. Also, it's sunny, it's very sunny, so this is also good. After the rain in the morning, this feels good, this feels really good. But yeah, no black rocks so far. Let's um, do something else, I guess.
Welcome to the inland of Bornholm. Today is a hiking day in the nature. I mean, we're always in the nature, but this time we are in somewhat of a forested area of Bornholm. And yeah, it's interesting, it's very interesting. Yesterday it rained the entire morning, so we stayed indoors, watched some YouTube, and yeah, the afternoon we spent in and around Gudjem, one of the small towns at the northern coast of Bornholm. We walked along the coastline, saw some amazing cliffs, and had a great day. Today, as I said, we are out in some forested area, exploring a little bit the inland of Bornholm. And yeah, it's interesting. It's interesting to walk among those trees and enjoy the nature. So that's cool. Today we are apparently following those yellow markers. So it's always important to keep your eye out and spot those yellow markers that you know you are still on the right track.
this is such a cool place. There are so many interesting gorges and wellies, forested areas, open plains, swampy areas. That's really great. It's a lot of fun hiking out here. So, yeah, really happy to be out here in the nature and to see all, all those great places. This is great.
today is a very, very windy day. We walked along the coastline to um, to ruin of an old old castle. Oh yeah, pretty amazing, pretty amazing, great, great waves. Really amazing to see all those waves. Really amazing to feel the strong wind on the body and uh, yeah, just just having a great time. The sun is shining. It's really warm in the sun. In the sun. And uh, yeah, now it's time for some uh, for some lunch. And uh, yeah, I think I will enjoy that. And then we'll see you what we do next. But yeah, great time. Really great time. I just like to feel the nature. Really feel the nature. This is always great. So yeah, bon appetit.
After many adventures in the nature, it is now time to take a look at our Airbnb house. We are in the entrance, so behind me is the main door. Let's start the tour. When you get into the house, you have multiple options. You can go into many, many ways. Let's start with the left door. The left door is a bedroom. The first bedroom of the house you can have a nice look out of the window, see our rental car, and uh, yeah, it's it's just just a standard bedroom, nothing to write home about. But uh, yeah, that's that's the first room. Back to the main entrance, main door. We do have that door. That door is the most exciting room of this this Airbnb. It is the bathroom, standard bathroom. The only thing that is a little bit problematic, as you can see, the shower has no bathtub, has no shower curtain, has nothing. So the water is flowing through the entire bathroom, which results in a very exciting shower experience. But yeah, so let's, uh, let's rather close that door and see what's upstairs. Let's go upstairs, always to be careful with my hat. Upstairs we do have more room, lots of room, so right right to the left from the staircase is another bedroom, a two-person bedroom, two separate beds with a view to the neighbors. That's exciting when you wake up. And yeah, it's a, it's a smaller room, you have a little desk, Pretty cool. Guess it's it's good for some children also. And uh, yeah, then then we do have this I don't know storage place or so. Here are my things scattered about. There's a box. There's a box full of Lego pieces. I unfortunately haven't found the time to open that box and to do something with all those Lego pieces. But maybe maybe that's that's something I could do. And yeah, another look out of the window, that's the entrance again. Moving on, moving on to the next bedroom, my bedroom. So that's my place where I crush. Also nothing to write home about, interesting picture, another interesting picture. That's me, hi. And uh, here, nice view. Nice view out of the the house. Pretty cool. You can can you? No, you can't. You can't see the sea from here. You could see the sea through those trees a little bit. And yeah, we do have some uh, some nice morning weather. And um, yeah, that's that's my place. That's I how I do this this tour. Moving on, moving on, down the edge, careful with your head. Speaking, speaking of uh, careful with the head, 
the entire apartment or the entire house is rather uh, narrow, as you can see. So there's, there's not much space. Then we do have the main room, the, the main living room. Nice view out of the windows. Very, very cozy couches. Pretty good to sit on, lie on, watch some TV, YouTube, whatever. You can find lots of interesting games and books, which are hard to read because they are in Danish. Another bedroom, dinner table with some leftover fruits, cookies, some furry friends, and the kitchen, the kitchen where I showed you in the past some of the, the cooking experiences, the cooking adventures. View out of the house again to the garden. Kitchen is pretty nice. Overall the, the entire house is pretty pretty cozy, pretty relaxed. And we do have this, this interesting uh, washing machine room, storage room. We have the dishwasher, another another sink. And of course we do have the yard. The yard with a fireplace over there. We have some some good uh, places to relax out there. We have a swing if you are into swinging around. And uh, yeah, this, this I guess this concludes the the house tour so it's pretty good house pretty nice house really nice cozy place the only thing at that is a little problematic if you want to take a shower because you flood the entire bathroom but that's besides the point so yeah overall really really nice place to stay for for a week and um, Nice drawing, by the way. And uh, yeah, that's that's about it. And once again, the the very low ceiling height. I mean, I can't even fit my hand underneath my underneath this this ceiling thing and my head. And uh, yeah, I guess now we're back to the entrance. We're back where we started. Hope you enjoyed this, this house tour. I think it's time for some more nature experiences. Let's do that.